Hello everybody, wanna know how I made my intro? Lucky for you I'll be showing you how to make animated intro using a pre-made GFX. You can use mobile GFX but I do recommend using a pre-made GFX. Mine is made by Bluvia, this is her Instagram. If you click this video to see your voice reveal you're not in luck. Nice try! First thing you are going to want to do is open Magic Eraser and erase the outside of your GFX, just the pixel should be left. Erase every little part. Enjoy this clip of me erasing. When you're done save as a high resolution image. Open PixArt, add the image and crop it to 1 by 1 which is a square. Click Tool again and click Selection, then select part of your pixel's hand that is going to be moving. Select cut on the top and that part of your pixel should detach. Turn your arm toward your pixel's face but not covering the face. Click the black and white slanted rectangle on the top to erase any overlapping or any unwanted lines. Click apply twice on the top right corner then save the image. Click undo save that image then go back then repeat selection step but instead face the hand the opposite way. Find a background image you want to use. I am using a plain background from Pinterest. Open our trusty video loop and import the background image. Change the size to 16 by 9. Then click on the image then click transform and select fill not fit. Select mixer. Add in the first image saved with the hand almost close to your pixel's face. Add that in. Select Transform, then select Fit Not Fill. Do this again with the other two images with the original and the one with the hand to the opposite side of the pixel. Save the video. Import the video into video leap. Speed it up times 5. Duplicate the video and reverse it.
save the video and import it again. Speed it up by your choice. If you want it faster or slower. Duplicate the video. Cut the video to the perfect part because you don't want two parts being the same thing so you need to cut it at the exact time like ISO. Save the video and import it again. Add in the plain background in front of the video and fill it to size. This is where it gets complicated. You're going to want to click the diamond and want to keyframe it all the way at the edge of the video and then you're going to go a little bit farther down the video and keyframe it back into original. If the diamond is farther the animation is slower opposite for faster. It gets more complicated. Add in the mixer of your background image. And you're going to want to perfectly keyframe it the same exact way you did the original video with the same exact keyframes. But instead the image is attached to the edge of the original video and it's keyframe in the same way so that it's smooth. No black lines allowed. They have to move simultaneously. Save the video and import it again. Duplicate the video and reverse it. Then again you want to cut it almost at the end with her still a little bit of the hand movement left like so. Make sure the last two images right in between are the same. Add in the background image and fill it. Open PixArt and save the transparent image like so. Download Fonto. Open Fonto add in the transparent image and customize your name and everything else that will be added in. Go back into video leap and add in your social picture in the statement. I bordered mine up you don't have to do that. Screen record and intro song you want to use add it into the video by unlinking the audio of the song. Save the video and here are the results.
Thank you.